Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Brennan or BPUG. Welcome back to my channel, and welcome to my third episode of my Road to Prestige series on Prestige 3. I know this one's extremely late, as well as the others, and I should have had about two or three other of the episodes uploaded right now, and I was very, very caught up in doing stuff, and I was pretty much playing the game <laughs> too insane, and I'm currently very, very close to my sixth Prestige, but... For this video right here, I want to talk about some of the patch notes that started today and also give you guys some tips on the double weapon XP weekend, which is something different, but I think it's pretty cool and I'll tell you what you can do to get your stuff up as fast as you can and all of that as well. So for the patch notes that we had today in the hotfix, it is higher specialist earning power in search and destroy, so your specialist you'll be able to get it faster and as we know, search and destroy can be either very short or very long, but there is a time limit. And usually you're not even barely going to get to use a specialist more than once when you do play search and destroy most of the time. Hardwired has been buffed to better counter the sixth, sixth sense perk. What that perk is, is it'll show the enemies like on the minimap. If they're near you, it'll like flash red on your screen. If you use it, you'll see what I mean. Now with the hardwired, if you have that on when someone has sixth sense, sixth sense, it's going to pretty much barely catch them at all. And if so, if it does even catch them, it's not going to show that they're as close as they should be. But you'd have to use the perk to understand it yourself. And it's, I don't really think it's that OP, but it, it does help out to know, you know, if there's an enemy coming in this or that way. So there's also a fix for a spawn issue for when waiting to select a class. Not sure what that is, but I know Call of Duties have all had spawn issues as we may know. So there's a lot of stuff. Stat losses for arenas when quitting games. Fixed for issues when prestiging weapons. As you guys know, there's been a lot of prestige glitches for the weapons and other stuff. So those are fixed now. And there's also some other things like that are not listed on the site at all but pretty much all the problems with the bugs and all that as well as like glitches in the maps like to where you could get out of a map or like in zombies you could glitch something that's all fixed now to getting towards your leveling up fast and double xp weekend for your weapons and this is not going to be for you leveling up it's obviously going to be for your weapons so to level them up fast you want to try to push for headshots more and more and more because from what I noticed, you know, and I may, I may be completely wrong, okay? I'm not going to confirm anything, but I believe since I've been going for headshots in any game mode, you can do hardcore or normal. I do recommend hardcore regardless over anything because hardcore kill confirmed and hardcore domination are by far some of the best ways, if not the best, to level up in this game. But there's there are a lot of ways and just going for headshots in that. So... That's pretty much it. Go for headshots and everything during the double weapon XP weekend. And it's it's something else, something new. And it's pretty awesome, you know, how they change it up and then just throw in double XP. Because if they would have, there's going to be a lot more people that would have been Master Prestige. And, you know, that could be good or bad. But doing that keeps people playing the game a little bit longer and holding out. And we should probably be seeing our first DLC, I want to say, in February, maybe. Early to mid-January, something like that. So it'll be pretty cool. But that is it, guys. I will see you guys in my fourth episode, which will be up later today. I'm going to have my times and everything down once I get everything set. I am working Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But after that, there's gonna there, there's still going to be stuff those days that I'm working. Just want to let you guys know, but I know these upload times, I, I, really, I really feel bad of not doing that because I need to stick with the stuff and inconsistency is not good. But without further ado, thank you for watching. Be sure to share this video with your friends. Leave a like rating if you guys enjoyed. And also subscribe if you enjoyed also. And one last thing before we go here. I'm going to start doing my Road to Gold series today after Thanksgiving dinner and such like that. And we're also going to have a Road to Diamond series. And pretty much the Road to Gold and Road to Diamond is going to showcase you guys the best ways I used to get the headshots in the game modes which it was it was honestly like hardcore game modes but it's going to show you the weapons what they look like and some pretty nice gameplay with them as well so hope you guys enjoyed see you next time thank you for watching